a very good morning to one and all i am dr rishabh gupta from shahid bhagat singh college university of delhi and in this video we shall be solving the product mix decision problems in ms excel so here we begin abc limited a manufacturing company is considering to produce two types of products a and b both the products requires the common resources and manufacturing sector the following particulars of both the products are given below per unit selling price has been given that is 100 rupees for product a and for b it is 120 rupees material cost is being specified direct wages direct expenses and the fixed overhead is rupees 30000 variable overhead is rupees 15 and rupees 20 respectively material consumption it is 2 kg for one unit of a and 3 kg for a single unit of b similarly the machine are used is 3 hours for single unit of a and 2 hours for a single unit of product b expected demand in units is 3500 units each for both the products raw material availability is 10000 kg labor are availability is 15000 hours so we need to find out the most profitable product mix and maximum contribution using excel if the raw material is a limiting factor and if the labor are is a limiting factor so for solving these product mix decision we first and foremost need to install the solver option in ms excel so again click on file and then click on options then we need to click on addins the moment we click on addins there is an option called solver addin this solver addin is already an active application in my laptop in your case it might be reflected under inactive application addin this is a one time installation the moment you install this package you don't need to install later on so you need to click on okay the moment you click on okay it will again get reflected somewhere here data and the solver option so let me first copy paste this information so i have copy paste the selling price material cost direct wages direct expenses variable overheads so my total variable cost per unit will be equals to equals to sum bracket open select all these component ranging from material cost and goes on till variable overheads bracket close and press enter it is 45 rupees for project a and 51 rupees for project b similarly the contribution per unit which is nothing but a difference between the selling price minus the variable cost that is 55 rupees for project a and 69 rupees for project b rest all the information remains the same i have simply copy paste this information from the question itself now the first part of this question is that i need to compute the maximum contribution if the raw material is a constraint or the raw material availability is 10000 kg so there are two projects project a and project b units of each project i need to calculate so contribution per unit for both the project has already been computed it is 55 rupees and 69 rupees let me put it in the center now i wish to maximize my contribution so i need to compute the maximum contribution arising from project a and b collectively for this it is nothing that the maximum contribution is the sum product of units of each project and contribution per unit so it will be equals to sum product double click on it and then units ranging from b18 goes on till c18 comma and the contribution per unit ranging from b19 and goes on till c19 bracket close obviously here the maximum contribution comes out to be zero because i still need to calculate the units of each project now i need to enter the constraints value so there are three constraints in this case now let me enter the constraint values one by one so there are three constraints in the case in this case the first constraint is material consumption the question clearly specifies that the total material consumption is 10000 kg 
and for single unit of A, we require 2 kgs of material and for B, it is 3 kg. Let me put the less than equals to sign over here under the symbol option. So, it must be less than equals to 10,000 rupees. The constraint value in any case must be either equals to 10,000 or less than 10,000, which means equals to some product of units of each product that is ranging from B18 and goes on till C18, comma, the values of material consumption ranging from B22 and goes on till C28. We need to specify this reference cell under the constraint value for the purpose of solver to solve this numerical and then bracket close. Let me put it into center. The second constraint is the expected demand. So the total demand is for A, it is 3500. And again for B, it is also 3500. Again, let me put this sign over here. Again, I need to specify the reference cell under the constraint value. So, for the product A, I am saying the product A must be either less than or equal to 3500 units, which means equal to this cell B18. Similarly, equal to this cell C18 for product B. Now, after putting all these information I, and after activating the solver icon in MS Excel, we need to click on data, then click on solver. The moment you click on solver, it is asking for a range of information. The first information is set objective. So under the set objective, it means the value which I wish to maximize. In our case, we wish to maximize the contribution. So I need to select the reference cell of B20 and then click on maximum. Since my objective is to maximize this B20 or to maximize the contribution. The next cell is by changing variable cell. So by changing variable cells means the items that needs to be changed in order to achieve the set objective. In our case, we need to mention the reference cell of units of each product of A and B. So in order to maximize my contribution, I wish to change my units of each product that is A and B. So I will select both these reference cell B18 and C18. And the last is subject to the constraint, wherein I need to specify all the three constraints that I have listed below. Let me first enter these constraints one by one. The cell reference, under cell reference, I need to select this constraint value. Then I need to select this icon of less than equals to, and the constraint is 10,000. Click on add. Similarly, the next constraint, it is D23, which is again less than equals to, the constraint value is F23. Again, click on add. And the last one is D24, which is my cell reference, which must be less than equals to F24. And then click on cancel. The moment you click on cancel, this window will get again open. So I all the three constraints are now reflected under this box. Now I need to checklist this make unconstrained variables non-negative and then I need to select the simplex linear programming and then click on solve. The moment I click on solve again a pop-up window will get reflected and I need to click on ok. The moment I click on ok I will get the values of units of each product. Let me highlight it with yellow. So it is 3500 units for product A and 1000 units for product B and the maximum contribution is 261500. So by applying this solver function, I have calculated the maximum contribution. I have also calculated the units of each product. Similarly, by applying this similar tool, I need to calculate the second part of this numerical wherein the labor R is a constraint or a key constraint. Let me again copy paste this information. 
the units of each product i need to calculate the contribution per unit remains the same that is 55 and 69 again the maximum contribution let me first merge this cell and then it is a sum product of both these cells b29 and goes on till c29 and the contribution per unit goes on from b30 and goes on till c30 bracket close it comes out to be zero now i need to enter the constraints now the first constraint is labor hours so labor hours is three hours for project a and two hours for a single unit of project b it is again the maximum is 15,000 hours. For the, let me copy paste this icon as well, which is of less than equals to sign. The constraint value again is a sum product of units of each product, comma, and the labor hours, bracket close. For project A, it will remain the same. For project A, the reference cell is this the B29 and for project B the reference cell is C29 this value must be less than equals to 3500 so in this way I have specified all the three constraints now again I need to click on data go to solver option and then again my objective is to maximize the contribution I need to select this cell B31 and then click on maximum again in order to achieve the maximum contribution i need to click on changing variable cells that is in our case it is the units of each product so it is b29 and c29 let me delete this as well now i need to enter the constraints the first constraint is your D33 must be less than equals to F33. Click on it. The second constraint D34 must be less than equals to 3500 represented by F34. And the last constraint is D35 must be less than equals to F35. Click on add and then click on cancel. Again, we have entered all the three constraints and then I need to checklist this make unconstrained variables non-negative. Again, select the simplex LP and then click on solve. The moment I click on solve, again a pop-up window gets reflected, click OK. And after click on OK, I will get the values. So let me round off these figures. So if your labor hours is a key constraint, then the units of each product of A will be 2,667 units. And for project B, it will be 3,500 units. And the maximum contribution in this case comes out to be 3,88,167 rupees. So that's all from my side. We'll meet you in my next session. Have a nice day.